Hey guys. All right. So I'm at work. I'm actually up here super, super early. Um, so I'm just like, let me get on the video and talk to the people real quick. I, um, like I said, I'm early as hell. I, um, have inspections today that I have to do. I'm loving these braids, man. I um, haven't had braids since like 2010 or 2011. Y'all, excuse that box in the bag. That's a um, package I got to drop off to um, UPS when I get off from work. So, yeah. Anyway. Um, yeah, I haven't had braids since like 2010. This is actually my first time having them since 2010. And, uh, oh, let me fix the girls, honey. Yes, the gross. I just have my mammogram done to my annual mammogram. Oh gosh. Um, but everything came back cool, so you know, thank goodness, thank God, thank God. Um, so yeah, I'm very thankful because you know, you had a little percent matter of fact, that's what I meant to do. Get back on here and talk about what I was saying. How, um, in my last video, I was I left off saying how a lot of times we think we're in control and we're really not. We're really not. You're not in control. Not at all. We're really not. Now they say you control your destiny. No, the fuck you don't. You don't. Um, I think we want to believe we're in control because that's just how we as humans are. That's what we think. But we're not. Um, you control, yeah, what you eat and stuff like that. And, you know, what time you go to bed at night, what time you get up in the morning and how do you control that kind of stuff. But you don't control your destiny. You really don't. I, I think, and I'm seeing that the older I get, it's kind of, because it's like, things happen out of your control. You don't know what's around the corner in life. Things happen that you, you know, and your wildest dreams couldn't imagine. You'd be like, damn, I, you know, you know, you think you can prepare for life in so many ways. You think you can do so much preparing and, oh, if I do this, this, this to excel out that, if I do this, da, da. sometimes in some cases it's true to, to an extent, but for the most part, you really don't. You don't have no control. You don't have control over your kids. When you have children, mm -mm. and I know I don't have children, however, I have, you know, I have nieces, nephews, and, and little cousins, and all that kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? So, I know, like, and, and I've watched other people's children, you know, grow up and stuff. And it's like, you don't, you cannot control your children. I don't care what kind of home you give them. I don't care if you give them the best of the best, and you have them in church every Sunday and everything. They know the word. They know the Lord. I'm telling you, like, you never, you never know who you're raising, you know? And I've seen people come from the best of the best. And turn out like, wow, like, well, who'd ever thought she would have went down that path? Like, man, she was showered with love and, 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 you know what I'm saying? They, or, or you see some situations where, you know, they come up in a, um, messed up environment, you know, um, you know, just, you know, maybe, you know, the parents not around, maybe, you know, whatever the case it's just a messed up environment for a child. And that child grows up and be the best of the best. You know what I'm saying? I think because what it boils down to, it boils down to the decisions that a child makes, that a, a child decides to make as they become an adult. It's all about your, it, it's about your decision making. But like I said, even in that case, you can't control your child. Um, if your child go the right way, you can't control that. If they go the wrong way, you can't control that. It's all about that person's decision. But what, what I'm saying in terms of, um, as far as, yeah, we're not really in control. Like we think when it come to like, um, how long you going to live and all that. Like I've seen some people and I know a lot of people, we on a health journey. I mean, include myself, you know, trying to eat better. And man, I've been, oh my gosh, I've been doing bad. I mean, I've been doing all right. You know what I'm saying? I'm like half and half. My problem is I like snacks and I like to eat bad snacks, but I'll eat healthy. Like I eat a lot of, you know, fish and fruits and vegetables and stuff like that. But then I like my sweets. So it's like, okay. But, um, what was I saying? Oh yeah. So, um, you know, even when it comes to like trying to eat healthy and be healthy and all that, hold on, let me, I gotta wipe this off. It's getting on my nerves. Anyway, so trying to eat healthy and all that kind of stuff. I've seen people be so healthy and they turn around and have a heart attack or they be so healthy and then turn around and, you know, something, catch, they catch something. It's like, but then you see some people who don't eat healthy and they live a long time. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. So it's just like, you just don't know. I, I don't know, man. I really don't know. But I do think that it is important to try to be healthy. Like, you know, don't be smoking cigarettes and all that kind of stuff. Like, I don't, I don't like cigarettes. I don't, excuse me. And I'm not judging nobody who'd smoke them, but 
I can't fucking stand cigarettes. And I never really dated nobody that smoked cigarettes. I've dated one guy that smoked cigarettes, and I fucking couldn't stand it. I don't like cigarettes. They fucking stink. You know, and I'm a very hygienic person. And I'm a person who loves to kiss. You know what I'm saying? So I don't like kissing no fucking ashtray mouth. And when the, the, the guy I dated who smoked cigarettes, he was a very clean person at that. Because cigarettes, I don't know something about it. This may sound funny, but... To me, when somebody <laughs> smokes cigarettes, it's like, no matter how they, because sometimes we're the most conservative people that smoke cigarettes. You're like, what? But to me, when somebody smokes cigarettes, it means they got like a wild side to them. <laughs> I don't know. I know that sounds stupid. But like, even when it comes to like, 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 I don't know. It just seems like when somebody smokes cigarettes, like, even if it's somebody that seems real quiet and, you know, reserved and stuff, when they light up that cigarette, I be like, oh, she got a side to her. She probably ain't that damn quiet and, 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 and reserved. <laughs> I know that sounds stupid as fuck. Anyway, so he was a really clean person, but still, it didn't matter because it's still, cigarettes is just, that's just a nasty fucking habit. I'm sorry. But anyway, but I do believe, I do believe that smoking cigarettes and shit like that, that is, I do that, I do believe that's bad for your health. I'd rather you smoke weed than um cigarettes, for real. You ain't never hear about nobody dying from smoking too much weed or... I don't know. You just... I don't know. Because weed is natural. Cigarettes are man-made. You know what I mean? So, anything man-made, you know what I'm saying? But, I thought I put on enough lotion, but I didn't. So, anyway. Let me put this lotion on. Let me sit y'all down for a second. So, yeah. So, at the end of the day, like, you know, we're really not as in control as we would like to believe we are. This is up here. We're really not in control like we want to believe we are. We're just not. And um, I think a lot of times we have what is called a false sense of um, security is what it is. And um, hold on. Oh, no, I got to take it off. Damn it. I believe what we have is what is called a false sense of security. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're just not in control as we think we are or as we want to believe we are. We're just not. So, I mean, none of us really know how long we're going to be here. We don't know. You know what I'm saying? All we know is, honey, we're here for a good time, not a long time, okay? Ha! But, I mean, for real, like, you don't know. I mean, you may think in your mind you're going to be here till you turn 80, 90. And, you know, what's considered old? What do y'all think is old? Like, I don't know. Like, I'll be thinking, like, 80s is up there. But then my friend was like, oh, that's still, that's still not old. I don't know. I, I guess old is what you think in your mind. I don't know, shit. And then, you know, you got to look at how stuff is happening to people, like, young, like, stuff that, that didn't happen until you people was in their, like, fit, uh, at 70s and 80s and even 90s. It's like, the life, I don't know, the lifespan is just short. I don't know. Me and my friends, we talk about this all the time because, hell, we can't, we can't get around talking about it. We can't get around talking about it. You know what I'm saying? Because so much is happening every time you turn around. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just sad and it's scary, but, I don't know. All we can do is, you know, try to live the best we can try to do right by people try to be good to people try to be a good person you know what i'm saying i ain't trying i ain't, I ain't talking about being a good person um according to you know people thinking you, you you want people to think you're a good person you know i'm saying you really being a good person like really you know what i'm saying doing right by people um and stuff like that so all right so let me get let me get in here and get to work